Today we're using salmon. We could use um, sea trout, we could use uh, brown trout, really any fish. The whole idea is I'm going to break the salmon down. I'm going to do a tartare of salmon, which is raw salmon. Maybe a, a nice little idea for, uh, for a dinner party, something nice and fresh. I'm also going to do um, what we call a prime cut of salmon. I'm going to do that with some purple sprouting broccoli and I'll do that with some pancetta. And then I thought I was going to show you how to make a nice salmon stock so you could tuck the salmon stock away in the freezer or you can make a soup. This is an excellent way from using the, the, the whole fish and obviously using salmon. Um, a great time of year, purple sprouting broccoli, right back up into season. We need to be aware of these things when we're, we're cooking at home uh, to always be buying in season. And let's have a wee look in Scotland as well and see if it's Scottish, if it's in season. It's actually a lot less expensive if it's in season. So have a wee look at the, the label, if there's a wee Scottish or a British flag on it. And and that'll help you along the way. Exactly. So, all I've done, for those of you who haven't, you know, you don't, you saw me filleting that there, but of course you can buy the salmon prepared like this and you could ask your fishmonger to fill it for you. All these little bits don't go in the bin. We keep these little bits, they're full of flavor and uh, will be great in the stock that we're going to use later. Now I'm going to portion the, the salmon up into nice, uh, portions for the dinner party. These are the prime cuts, okay? These are the, what we call in the restaurant, the a la carte portions, yeah? As we come further down, the tail is a lot thinner. It isn't quite as thick if you're going to pan fry it, but it's very good for tartare. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So, I've had this uh, chopping board in the freezer. Now, this was a little trick that I was taught off a, a sushi chef in London once. Because the board is frozen, obviously we're working with raw fish, we don't want the fish to get too warm. It's going to help cut the fish. When we cut the fish, it's, going to, um, it's not going to mush it in any way. It's going to allow us to get a nice fine dice there. Okay, so I've cut my salmon into nice strips. And now on, this, on the frozen chopping board, I'm just cutting it into nice dice. Okay, like so, into the bowl, and that will all be ready for when my guests come around, and all I'm going to do then is season it up, okay? Here against the bone of the salmon, I've filleted the salmon, is that lovely meat that you can't actually get to, so if you very carefully with the spoon, scrape against the bone, you're getting all this wonderful fish for free. I'm going to start making my stock. And hopefully everything will come together at the same time. So I've taken my carcass, chopping that into little pieces. Fish stock, it's basically a fish stock using salmon. It can be a great base for a, for a sauce or even like a traditional uh, kind of salmon soup maybe. How many times are we guilty of you know, going to the supermarket, supermarket market, buying some more onions, going home, putting the onions away, you found onions at the bottom of the fridge. We're all guilty of it. So, stocks are a fantastic way of utilizing, um, utilizing old vegetables, etc. So we're sweating that off. We sweat that off for three to four minutes. Unfortunately, I don't have three to four minutes. So we're going to put in the uh, salmon bones as well. Put that to the side and we just let that cook gently. We've got a wee bit of thyme, which I'm sure we've all got growing in the garden somewhere. And a bay leaf, okay? Sweat that. Some white wine. It's gonna give it a nice acidity. And then a lovely bit of Glasgow tap water. Lovely. So in there I've got a little bit of shallot. Salt, pepper. Extra virgin olive oil. Okay. We've got a few chives as well. But I'm putting chives in today, but you could put you could put dill, you could put um, basil if you really wanted, or even um, from the tops of the fennel. I don't know if you know as a fennel grows, you've got these lovely little flowers that come at the top. Instead of throwing them away, keep them, chop them up, and put them in your uh, tartar or in your uh, in your stock there. This would be perfect to do in advance and would um, allow you to, as soon as your guests arrive, 
you're not flapping around cutting uh, salmon for tartare. Instead, you're sitting down having a nice glass of champagne and, and enjoying the evening as well. So in there, I've got a little bit of uh, lemon rind. A bit of lemon juice as well now. I'm putting lemon juice in there, but you could put um, like a mild vinegar, like a rice wine vinegar or a very little bit of soy sauce or something like that. So today with the vegetables for my uh, other part of the dish, I'm going to use purple sprouting. Again, it's a Scottish vegetable. It's right in season just now, so everyone should be eating it. If you go to the supermarkets or anywhere, make sure you look on the packets. You see the little Brit British sign. That means that it's grown in Britain and uh, we're keeping it local, which is exactly what we're all about here today. Okay, so just taking that off slightly. Okay, and then we've got some boiling water. Always make sure that your water is nicely salted. Okay, so I've got my lovely prime cut of salmon. I'm just going to seal the top slightly. And I'm starting it skin side down. And that's going to get lovely and crispy. A nice bit of salt on there. Cracked pepper. And by cooking it skin side down, that's going to let all the natural oil of the salmon will come out. And it's going to get lovely and crispy. Okay, so now I'm going to take my lovely purple spouting. Just drain it a little bit. I love this when vegetables are just cooked and then you eat them. I hate it when you go to a restaurant and the vegetables have been cooked for two or three days in advance and they've got that horrible fridgy flavour yeah. to it. Uh, I, I love fresh, fresh vegetables. I'm just going to drain off the excess water because what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it off, the sprouting, in the same pan as the, um, as the salmon and with that I'm going to add a little bit of pancetta as well. So the idea with that is the natural oils that are coming out of the salmon are in the pan already. I'm now going to add the uh, purple sprouting and then a few slices of pancetta as well. So all those flavours will come together and we'll have the makings of a great dish. I've cut my apple and all I've done is cut it into little slices and then I'm cutting it into little dice. Little dice the same size roughly as the, um, as the salmon. And I think that's important as well, because then natural textures of the dish, when you eat it, is going to eat very well. And very simply, that's going in the middle of the plate. This is, this is the, the Tom Kitchen home version. Obviously, in the restaurant, we do the kind of... Uh, uh, going on. All the poncy kind of stuff around the side. But today, we're, we're all at home and, and relaxed. So a little bit of cracked pepper over the top of that. Um, a little bit of olive oil and anything else you wanted really. A little bit of uh, some chopped herbs or a wee bit of Melba toast would go lovely with that. I often get asked, you know, a kind of dish that you would cook at home. And this is this is really something that uh, Michaela and I would, would eat at home. I think it's absolutely delicious. And broccoli, once you colour it, once you start to get a little bit of um, friedness on it, it starts to have this lovely... Um, coloration around it and I just love that flavor as well and the bacon getting crispy as well so let me turn that salmon over <laughs> okay so now we've got the, uh, the purple sprouting it's all lovely and crispy we've got the crispy pancetta all the purple sprouting and the, the bacon and the salmon have been cooked together there we had a whole salmon it could have been um, it could have been a trout it could have been a, a mackerel it doesn't matter the whole point I'm trying to get across here is you can use fish in different ways or meat. I've, I've used a prime cut, I made a lovely main course with purple sprouting broccoli pancetta. I made a, a starter from the tails, which is a lovely salmon tartare with apple and lemon. And then with the bones, we made a very quick and easy stock with all the trimmings left at the bottom of the fridge. We're going to pass that off and make a lovely soup or stick it in the freezer for a rainy day. 